Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Our objective is to study the discharge over notches. So what is a notch? A notch is a device used for measuring the rate of a liquid flowing through a small channel or a tank. It may be defined as an opening in the side of a tank or a small channel in such a way that the liquid surface in the tank or channel is below the top edge of the opening. The sheet of water flowing through the notch is called nap or vein. The bottom edge of a notch over which the water flows is known as the sill or crest. An important parameter to consider in this study is the coefficient of discharge. It is defined as a ratio of actual discharge over a notch to the theoretical discharge. Now let us study the discharge over a rectangular notch. Consider a rectangular notch in one side of a tank in which the water is flowing. It gives less accuracy. The equation of discharge over a rectangular notch is given as the actual discharge equals the product of two-thirds the coefficient of discharge, the width of the rectangular notch denoted by the letter L, the square root of two times the acceleration due to gravity, and the water head over the crest raised to the power 3 by 2. Now let us study the discharge over a V-notch. A V-notch is also known as a triangular notch. Consider a triangular notch in one side of a tank in which the water is flowing. It gives more accuracy when discharge is small. The equation of discharge over a triangular notch is given as the actual discharge equals 8 by 15 times the coefficient of discharge multiplied by the tangent of half of the angle of the V-notch and the square root of 2 times the acceleration due to gravity and the water head over the crest raised to the power 5 by 2. Let us now see a demonstration of the experiment. So this uh, apparatus is used for measuring the discharge over a notch. Uh, we are going to use uh, two different types of notches. Uh, we are going to use a rectangular notch and a V-shaped notch which looks like this. This is a V-shaped notch and uh, the one which is mounted on top already is the rectangular notch. So now I am going to talk about how the experiment is performed and how the Procedure is going to Okay, so as you guys have seen, the rectangular notch is already been mounted. Uh, so now we're going to start the experiment. We turn on the pump, uh, we turn on the pump here. The water will start coming from top and will start filling over here. Uh, first, we need to measure the gas pipe. So we wait for the water to get through the water. The water will be collected from there. So we start. As it just passes through the edge of the uh, notch, uh, we have to measure the press pipe. We turn off the pump and then we close the valve so that the water doesn't come down this pipe and it stays here. And we are going to measure the press height right now using the pointer gauge. Press height is the water will just flow over the notch, edge of the notch. So we use the pointer gauge over here to measure the crest height. The pointer gauge works such a way that the pointer should just touch the water surface, the pointer tip. As you guys can see, as the water, as the pointer just touches the water tip, we have to measure the height uh, using the pointer gauge over here. Once the crest height has been determined, uh, we can start the pump again and we use this control valve over here to get different readings. So I am setting up this position right now to get a discharge rate and the water will again start to fill up and it starts going over the notch right now. Now this thing is a steady state. Uh, we use the control valve again to measure the height of the uh, Right now, after that is done, uh, we are going to do we are going to use the measuring tank and the stopwatch in combination to move down that value. So, we use this to divert the water, we are going to 
Thank you, Saad, for the experimental procedure. So this is how this experiment is performed. Thank you for watching.